Hello everyone, this is Mike with VM Reviews, and today is the second part video of the Galaxy S2 by Virgin Mobile. In this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, speed test, quadrant standard scores, and I'm going to show you guys a, a bit of uh, the camera app and um, some video samples from the front facing camera and the rear camera. So stay tuned, guys. All right, to start off, I'm going to uh, go ahead and do the quadrant standard test. For you guys, uh, just to run a full benchmark, and just so you guys know, I cleared out the, I cleared out all the uh, apps and cache and all that, and the and the RAM memory, I guess. So there should be nothing that should make nothing that will hold this phone back in the in the benchmark test. Uh, let me tell you guys a little thing that I forgot to mention in the first video. I forgot to mention where the speaker grill is in this uh, in this video or in the last video, and the speaker is actually right here. So if you guys didn't catch that from the first video, I forgot to mention that the speaker for the phone is on the bottom, and when you lay it down, it gets kind of muffled, actually. So there you go. as you can see there, it's still running the benchmark. And here, let me stop it here, and we'll continue this when the benchmark is done. Okay, guys, the benchmark is just about finished. And let's take a look at this once it's done. There you go. Yes, I would like to proceed. All right, as you can see here, let's see where the device scored. This device scored here, uh, 2689, guys. Let's see if I can zoom in there because the quality is kind of bad there. But uh, yeah, it's kind of blurry. But the score on this is 2689. The first time I ran a Quadrant Standard score, I scored over 3000. So keep in mind that once you install certain apps and games and other features to the phone it's gonna it's gonna lower your score right out of the box though this score this phone almost scored a 4000 it's score, scored maybe like a 3700 so you know uh, benchmark tests are always indicative of day-to-day -day usage you know so keep that in mind that that what the score shows here doesn't uh, reflect the performance of the phone it's just a, a benchmark score Okay, on to the <clears throat> on to the speed test and let me go let me go do that really quick. And let me turn off the Wi-Fi before we finish off here. Oh yes, and I'm sorry. And in the first video I failed to mention that on the drop down menu bar you have your shortcut buttons with for the Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, silent mode, and 4G toggle. So just so you guys know, I forgot to mention those four on top and just just letting you guys know that you cannot change these unlike in the Galaxy S3 and the S4 and the Note and the Note 2 these are not interchangeable so what you see there is what you get okay let's go run the speed test and right now as said I'm running on on uh, Sprint's 3G network this is a 4G phone but as said before I don't have 4G in my area and let me see if I can change the change that to where I live and there you go McKellen and let's begin test I'll run a few tests for you guys. See, ping is always good. What you all have to understand about speed tests is it's different anywhere you go. So, you know, someone that might live in the Dallas area could get a better or worse score. And someone that lives in California or New York, you know, their, their 3G speeds might run a little better or they might run a little worse. And where I live, it's not too, too bad, but at the same time, it could be better. But I'm hearing that once uh, 4G LTE ro ro rolls out, that the 3G works a lot better with the new uh, uh, antennas that that they're putting up and, I guess, fixing up. So, let's see. The upload is kind of froze and never really, never really picked up. So, as you can see there, guys, let me zoom in. My scores right there are 0.41 megabits per second, and download upload is 0 0.01, which is not that great. But you know, I haven't had problems uploading pictures like on Facebook and so forth. Let's run a te one more test just to just to do it. But I haven't had a problem sending pictures to people and receiving pictures on this phone and uploading pictures to social networks like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So. Let's do one more test. 
And maybe because I have the 4G thing running on top, because I, I have the 4G toggle running. And network communication error. Let's try this one more time. Might have to just turn off the 4G. There you go. Alright, so download was a little worse that time. It's 0 0.08 megabits per second. And upload seems to be a little better this time. So I said, it's going to be indicative, indicative of where you guys live. So take that with a grain of salt that it's going to be different everywhere you go. Uh, could be better, could be worse. Where I live, the 3G network uh, for Sprint, Virgin Mobile, and Boost isn't that great. And you can see there that this test is just stuck. I'm not too sure what the deal is. But I'm going to end the video right here with the speed test, or I'm going to end this portion of the video, and I'm going to uh, run you guys to the video samples for the front-facing camera and the rear-facing camera. And after that, I'm going to show you guys a bit of the camera app. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for that video. Hey guys, this is Mike with VM Reviews and today I'm going to actually show you guys a sample video of the Samsung Galaxy S2 um, uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 video and right here you got the front facing camera and right now I'm outside and it's kind of bright out here so um, here you go, That's I just wanted to give you guys like pretty much basically a front facial front face shot of the Galaxy S2 from the front facing camera and right now I'm going to show you guys uh, the rear facing camera in 1080p. Hey guys this is Mike again with VM Reviews and right now I'm testing out the 8 megapixel camera for the Samsung Galaxy S2. Right now I'm recording in 1080p so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of video quality and I'm outside right now and it's daytime and you can see that it's really good I have no complaints about about the quality in in the video here as you guys can see here I, my dad has a lot of plants in the backyard and it is bright out here but you can see we can try to focus on details there and let's see if we can get into the shade here. My dad has a little bunch of junk actually sitting around. I live in Texas guys so he has a lot of junk. But yeah, here's the 1080p video recording of the Samsung Galaxy S2. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the camera app. I hope you all enjoyed the little sample footage that I showed you. And here on the camera app, as you can see, I'm actually recording myself. Well, not recording, but I have myself on camera there. And right there, you see where my finger is. There's the camera. It's a 2 megapixel camera. And it's a really decent looking camera. Let's, let me take a snapshot of myself really quick. Boom, and I had closed my eyes. So, as you can see there, uh, you're able to take self shots and take self video. And let me turn the camera around now. Let's show you guys the camera software really quick. I mean, over here, you have the little camera option to change it to the rear camera or that here's your auto flash you can turn that on or off and right here you have the different modes single shot smile shot beauty panorama yes this phone has panoramic shots so if you guys like taking pictures of big rooms you can do that action shot and a cartoon and from there you can have various settings where you can change the like the lighting I guess you want to do there and on the bottom there you have your settings your other settings where it says edit shortcuts, self portrait, you know, flash, uh, shooting mode, you can just change all that stuff from here also. Exposure values, focus mode, and so forth. Timer, you, this phone does have a timer, so if you have a tripod, you can take timer shots with that. You can add effects, uh, and you can change the resolution from the 8 megapixel to 6.5 to 3.2, and so forth. And of course, you can change the white balance the ISO, I mean that you can all change here, metering, 
outdoor visibility, anti-shake, and of course, you know, just whatever's on the list there, guidelines, blink detection, and more. And you can GPS tag this if you choose to. And from there, you can just, once you take a shot, you can go straight to the gallery. And as you can see here, I have that picture of myself. But if you want to go back, you can do that, of course. And it'll just take you back to that. And of course, when you go back, you can scroll through the pictures. Here's part of the video sample that I took and so forth. There's another. That's the video that I took. And here's just some practice shots that I took with the with the camera very very fluid as you can see here no problem pinch to zoom works really good also when when viewing the pictures so you don't have a problem with that but yeah that's pretty much it for the camera app guys uh, I'm gonna end this video here uh, stay tuned for the third part where I review uh, more apps and games I'm gonna maybe play a few games for you guys games like Temple Run, Fruit Ninja and I'm going to show you guys uh, the browsers, Google Chrome, and I'm going to, I guess, test the speaker with uh, YouTube there. So keep an eye out on the, my final and third review video of the Galaxy S2 by Virgin Mobile. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.